Hello there and welcome to Inquiring Minds. My name is Doug and I'm back with another shorty video and the second in the series of how-to videos. I'm going to keep these short and to the point. Today's how-to shorty is on how to fill a piston filler fountain pen. If you already know how to fill a cartridge converter pen like this Visconti Mythos, then you already know how to fill a piston filler fountain pen. And there you have it. Thanks for watching. No, I'm just kidding. Well, not really. The principles are actually very similar. A piston filler is just a cartridge converter on a larger scale. Instead of inserting a tiny cartridge converter with its small capacity, a piston filler uses the entire barrel of the pen as an ink chamber. It's easiest to see this on piston fillers that are demonstrators, like this Twisby Echo piston filler. You rotate the piston knob at the one end of the pen and the piston slides up and down inside the barrel and sucks up ink when you draw it back and the nib is in the ink. That's all you do. So let's fill this pen. This isn't real compecky. This is just water colored with a little bit of compecky. So first turn the piston knob until the piston is all the way towards the nib. Then just submerge the nib into the ink, ensuring that the filler hole, which is usually down here near the section, this one is right there, is all the way immersed into the ink and then turn the piston to draw up the ink into the barrel. But you'll notice that there's a lot of air at the top of the barrel. That's because all of the air that was in the section in the feed comes up with the ink. So to get a complete fill, turn the nib up, rotate the piston knob very slowly while watching the feed. And I turn that piston to push that air out of the nib and feed until you see a pool of ink and there's no air remaining. I always have a tissue around the pen while I do this. Now I've got nothing but ink from the feed right through the piston, and I can turn the nib back down into the ink. I turn the piston all the way down again, forcing out any extraneous air, and return the piston to the top, and wipe with my tissue. And there you see I've got a very, very full fill. There's almost no air in that piston now. Piston fillers are also very convenient when you need to get some ink flowing after letting the pen sit for a while. Ink is just water-based dye and water evaporates and nibs get dry. With a piston filler, all you have to do is turn the nib down over a tissue and turn the piston to get a drop of ink or two out onto the tissue and your feed is now full of ink and ready to write again. If you have a piston filler that isn't a demonstrator and has no ink window to check your ink levels, like this Leonardo Ferrari Grande, just turn the nib up in some good light and turn the piston until you see some ink. Turning, turning, turning. There. Just a little bit of a glob of ink just appeared right there. You can see how far out the piston is. So now all I have to do is dip the nib down in my ink and draw the piston back up again to refill the pen. Also be careful when posting a piston filler to ensure that the cap doesn't rest on the piston knob like on this Asvine P20 piston filler. The cap posts right on top of that piston knob and if I inadvertently turn that cap you can see in that ink window how the ink is rising when I turn that cap. So be careful of that or you'll end up with ink all over yourself. And there you have it. Thanks for watching. I made this.